These families were caught by surprise this week when they were told they had to leave the land on which they had been living on for years. Yesterday, police from the Morobe Rural Command stood guard as bulldozers tore down several houses. <laughs> this afternoon, more houses along the Tanam area were bulldozed. Niandros Yassi was told to leave. She was threatened and told to pack up. So time only come, only to call Kisi Odalo District Court. Now me ask him, this district court, you plus you plus to go inside to. Now talk no cut. Now why now you me pla land blow stop inside here. Me pla are more same more same now. Order paper blow you plow. Now only I think almost ring ago I mean okay. And now three o'clock or carry this la order paper I come. Many are settlers, but the eviction has also drawn concern from customary landowners. Elijah Moitz, a customary landowner, has also been given a notice signed by the provincial police commander, Augustin Wampe. He's also been told houses belonging to his family may be removed. Now yet I'm uh, legally in open yet. Legally I've been closed last year, now 2018 in open yet. So time I'm open, I'm not going to go to the court. I'll give more date to the court, not going to go the eviction order is understood to have originated from a recently formed incorporated land group allegedly backed by a rice distribution company. Our attempts to get a response from the provincial police commander were unsuccessful this afternoon. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Leigh.